Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk about an instant pair of earbuds that I've been using for a little while now. They're called the Empow Flame 2. They're the second in the series and I've been using them from for work, for Zoom calls, for listening to podcasts, listening to music, watching movies in them. And I want to dig a little deeper and tell you the pros and cons of it and tell you if it's actually worth buying the product. And when it comes to buying earbuds, I go by the three C's, kind of like the three C's when you're buying a diamond. And the three C's that I have for earbuds are cost, clarity, and comfort. Because that's what matters when buying your earbuds. You want them to be comfortable. You want the clarity or the sound to be good or good for the price. And cost does matter when you're buying the earbuds. So let's start with the cost. The cost for these earbuds are $21.99. That is it. $21.99. Could not get any cheaper, especially in 2020. They're Bluetooth. They have a great battery life. And they come in many different colors. And the colors that they come in are red, black, pink, and a gray slash blue combo. And so you have a couple of variants of colors that you want to pick so you're just not mixing up these headphones with anybody else. And the color that I got was the red. Kind of gives that tint of red and black, a little shiny, kind of looks pretty cool for $20. So some of the cool things about these earbuds is that they have a pretty good charge time and Nothing too quick, nothing too slow, just a regular two hour, two hour charge time. That's how long it takes to go from zero to 100% on the battery. And they have a playback time of 12 to 15 hours. From what I've experienced so far, if I'm listening to music any, anywhere in the 40% volume range, I will get those 12 hours. So that means you don't have to worry about getting through a whole day. So since we've covered the first C of this, which is the cost, which is $21.99, and I approve this price completely, from my experience, this is worth every penny and not more than it actually is. It is right in the dot for what the prices should be in 2020. And the second thing I want to talk about is comfort. And before we get to comfort, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button down below to not miss any of my tech reviews or my budget show episodes where I review budget tech and talk about other tech related things. So make sure to subscribe down below, smash the like button. But now let's talk about the comfort. Obviously when you want to buy earbuds and if you plan on wearing them all day, every day, sometimes you want it to be comfortable. And obviously the cost has to complement the comfort. If you're, if you're going to buy wired earbuds that cost $2, you can expect them to be manageable. And what, what I mean by that is you can deal with the uncomfort because it costs $2. When you bump it into price, 20 30 40 dollars you expect it to be the comfort level to go up because that's what you're paying you're paying for the overall experience and what i've noticed with these earbuds there's many things that are comfortable about it but there is one thing that really bugs me and this is where the cut cutting cost actually comes in so with these earbuds you have these hooks that are not adjustable they just sit on your ear so if you put it on your ear they just kind of wrap around and they sit and that's kind of what it is. You can't actually bend it into shape of where your ear is. It just kind of sits on there. So not the biggest fan of that, but that's not really a deal breaker. It still feels fine. There are some earbuds that I've noticed that this is kind of like a clayish uh, material where you can actually bend it into the shape you want for your ear. So the other comfort thing of this earbuds are, and this is obviously per your preference, is they have these ear inside pieces that get put on on the earbuds right there and they come in three sizes small medium and large and if you don't actually want them you can take them off it's very easy you just take off the top ear piece take off the rubber piece behind it and then put the the earpiece back on and you're all set i personally never liked these before but i tried these on and they feel comfortable you actually don't even feel they're in your ear so that is amazing because i've always wanted earbuds that are budget friendly and you don't feel all these uh, other extra parts inside and these are just simple rubber pieces so they're pretty durable they're not gonna rip they're not gonna break you'd really have to physically take some scissors and cut it in half to break it but so for the comfort it's pretty well done the only thing about comfort that is not comfortable about this yes I said comfort a couple times is this wire this wire when it's on the back of your neck when you're wearing your earbuds and you have them on it's just sitting on the back of your neck and you're just kind of hanging in the back it's over there and you do get a clip right here that you can 
clip into place where you want the split to happen. So if you want to make it shorter and you want to clip it so it's not hanging much, you just clip it in the back and that will keep it from dangling and getting in the way. But what I've noticed is, and this is where the cutting cost comes, is that if you're wearing a sweatshirt or anything in the back, or I'm guessing girls have long hair and it's down, it's going to get stuck or in the way every time. So that is where the cutting costs come in. And if you're going to plan on buying this, you want to keep that in mind. So that is the comfort. So comfort, I'll give it like an eight out of 10. Those extra two points are coming off having that wire, but this is why they cost one you one ninety nine. Like I said, if you bumped it up to 30, $40, you would have true wireless earbuds without the wires. And now let's talk about the number three C clarity. So obviously if you're buying earbuds, you better be hearing the music. You better be hearing the words and you obviously want to be enjoying the clarity of the sound that's coming out of the earbuds. You want to be hearing the person well, if you're in a meeting, you want to hear things well, you don't, you don't want any buzzy noises and so on. So in that perspective, it's, it works well. And here's a couple of things that make it better. One, it has Bluetooth 5.0. So that means it has one of the latest Bluetooth um, versions. So that makes it power efficient and it also has better data transmission. The other thing that comes along with clarity is how well these sit on your ears. So once again, back to comfort. So this doesn't have true noise cancellation, but having these ear pieces in your ear and having the sit right into your earlobe, it makes it so compact in your earlobe that it kind of pushes the outside sound away from, from you. So it's not a true noise cancellation, but since it seals the gaps where noise could come through, it kind of dampens the talking in the background or loud noises that on some earbuds that don't have a nice seal on your ear, you would definitely hear it. So when it comes to clarity, I've used these for Zoom meetings. I can hear them properly. I listen to music with different bass, bass uh, low tone, high tone, different frequencies. I've listened to rap, EDM, trap music. It all sounds fine. It's nothing brilliant, just keep that in mind, but it's just good enough for the budget. And the other thing about this, of this clarity and the comfort and the price that all brings it back together is that it's IPX7 waterproof. So that means you can run in the rain with it, you can go in the rain, you don't have to worry about getting it under wa uh, water damage. Obviously you can't go sh uh, shower in this, or maybe you can shower, but you can't go swim in this, but in terms of Overall rating, uh, the fact that it's waterproof, it just kind of knocks you out of the park. You have an ear, earbuds that are $21.99. They're great, great, decent quality for the price. The comfort is great. It's intercha interchangeable for the pieces that you want to put in. So as an overall earbud, this fits my three C's. And when I buy earbuds, I look at the three C's, cost, clarity, and comfort. So as an overall, just want to uh, set it up is these are earbuds for somebody who is not wanting to spend too much money. They just want an ear, earbuds that are work well, are comfortable, don't break the bank, and just overall get you through the day for your workout or work. And these are the earbuds that I would recommend. And what, the reason I bought these earbuds is if anybody knows about Unbox, ther Unbox Therapy, you probably all know them. He reviewed these Empow Flame 1 versions a couple years ago because they were Amazon Choice. And this is now, once again, Amazon Choice earbuds. So if you, I truly recommend buying these if you're in for a budget earbud. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If, if it's something I didn't cover, comment down below with any questions and I'll give you feedback. I've been listening to these earbuds for about three, four months now and I have no complaints other than I wish this wire wasn't there. but. I cheaped out, so now you know. And thank you guys for watching. This is all I have for the earbuds. Nothing too special, but this is the budget episode where I view budget tech. And thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for more budget episodes where I'll be reviewing other budget tech from drones to RC cars and I'll making other videos about tech reviews on high end products and just tech talks, possibly like Elon Musk and Tesla and whatever else comes to mind. So if this is your interest, please stay tuned. 
hit that subscribe button and make sure to not go away because there's many more videos to come. See you guys. Have a great day.